80. PDC. Great moment for him. This has been a great performance so far from San Kankip, but that's his first blemish Rock when it's come to the doubling, isn't it? Presents Dubbridge with an opportunity here at 82. 17 and ball. Trouble 17 for double eight. Perfect. Game show on the well, third that's the way to get yourself out the mire. Dubby, now favourite for leg of match. All about setting up from here on in. Setting up, which he will do. 131. Sam, you require 138. 138's going to have to go. And so Dubbridge, who has had to survive four match darts from San Kankit, now has three Locked of his own to get 16. over the line. Game, shot, Two, eight, and the match. Seven. Mar Dubbridge. In seven darts for Dubbridge. Turn that deciding leg on its head. Dubby moves on. Two eight points on the top of the table. 88.46 for Kankit. 84.10 for Dubby. When we come back, Mike Warburton will be looking to join Dubbridge on eight points when he faces David Davis. Right, Mike Warburton's threat and the David Davis throw more than David Davis has the Mike Warburton throw. Well, if we're looking the look in the game shot the fifth leg. Mike Warburton plus out, fifteen darter. Where have we seen that before? Uh, Mike 82. Warburton, he's averaging. Just over 103 and a half. He's put in another I am perfect performance to start tonight. And he is going to get tops to Game win it shots. with some and match, flourish Mike and fat fit. 103 on the nose, the average for Mike Warburton. And it puts him on to eight points. The chasms in the group are beginning to emerge and quite considerably. David Davis played his part, but really was outplayed in that final leg by a superb Mike Warburton who timed his runs to perfection. Right, Mark Dubbridge could be the first player through this group if he can get the better of Rain Jones. That battle's coming up next. He'll probably stay in the 20 bed for his favourite double 18. His first poke yeah, event tonight the and his first Wayne hit on Jones. that tonight. And Jones gets what is the third consecutive break in this high quality affair. 15 data missed for Dubbridge. Wayne and so Jones comes 16. back to put himself on to six points and to put himself in a nice position in terms Game of the table. Shot and the match. Now, that was a really Wayne good display Jones. from Wayne Jones to kickstart his night. An average of 96, four out of seven on the doubles, but he still feels there's room for improvement. He gets a better with Mark Dubbridge, who is one from one for the evening's affairs. 4-1, then Jones wins that one. It's an all-Welsh affair at the basement of the table next as David Davies takes on Sam Kankett. Sam, you require 147. The maximum break for maximum points and to eliminate David Davies. Game and to keep shot himself and the match. in Sam Kankett. Sam Kankett has put on a real spurt towards the line. Sam, you require 147. The maximum break. For maximum points and to eliminate David Davies Game and to keep shot himself and the match. in Sam Kankit. Sam Kankit has put on a real spurt towards the line. 15, 15, 12 to keep him in the race and in the process eliminating David Davies with an 89, 39 average, 4 out of 11 on the doubles and a 1, 4, 7 checkout. 10 missed darts at double came back to play David Davies in the end at the start of the match. Coming up next, Wayne Jones against Mike Warburton, who can confirm his passage through to tomorrow night's final. Four and 11. Game shot on the second lay. Mike Warburton. Feel like a standout 40. performance. This to send him through. In the most marvellous of styles. Game and shot. Mike Warburton and the match. is Mike just Warburton. one step above the rest in Group B. He has sealed his place in tomorrow night's final in the most incredible style. The highest average of Series 5, 113.43. Two maximums, back-to-back -back 11 dart legs. 
and four out of seven on the finishing. And if he plays to that kind of standard, he is going to have to, well, someone's going to have to play the darts of their life to beat him tomorrow night. Warburton, a 4-0 victor against Wayne Jones. Going to have to hang on a bit longer. Dubbridge may have to hang on a bit longer. But can he at least apply some pressure? One hundred and thirty-seven. Oh, he's done just David that. to require forty. So to complete a four-two victory, tops for David Davies. Game to keep shot. himself the in match. the reckoning, David Davies. even though he's got a lot of work to do. He has kept himself just over an outside chance, getting the better of Mark Dubbridge by four legs to two, doing so at eighty-six twenty-five average. Dubbridge at ninety-four point one, two out of three on the finishing, but it wasn't enough. But it could all be over if Wayne Jones can beat Sam Kankit after this short break. Record Sam, you're pace territory. 81. Double 12. Game Stupendously shot good. And Sam we are Kankit. in record territory. He's bang on Jason Askew's number. You require five. Double two. Game to win the game and the match. And Sam, Sam Kanki's average is only 98.56 because he was threatening record territory in that game. That was an incredible performance. It was just let down at the last by Sam Kankit. Those missed darts are doubled to win the final leg. If he took the 1-2-1 one, one out in that leg, he would have beaten Jason Askew's all-time record in this competition. Nonetheless, he has beaten Wayne Jones 4-0 and importantly moves up to third place in the table. Coming up after the break, Warburton against Dubbridge. Mark to require 121. Uh, fifth of sixth players in tomorrow night's final. And Game we certainly are. And the match. As Mark Dubbridge, Mark Dubbridge produces a 1-2-1 one, one finish, a 15 darter, and confirms his place with Warby. And you require 48. Well, he's left tops after 12. He's got to go. Game shot on the second lay. Wayne Jones. He's going to win. One hundred and seventy. That's the second one seventy we've seen tonight, but neither have been to finish a leg. Game shot. And that just and sneaks match. into the Wayne bottom Jones. corner. And Wayne Jones is still in the race. He gets the better of David Davis by four legs to two. It keeps him in the hunt. Sam Kankit, though, has it in his own hands. If he can beat Mike Warburton up next, then it will be he who is in too. Tomorrow night's fine. Becoming a bit of a hurly burly leg. Oh, the good luck, sir, type shot. Game oh, shot how's he found that? Way. My Warburton. I mean, can get back 67. for 67 to take a 2-1 lead. Remember, he had darts to go 2-0 up. Yeah, he certainly would feel like he could be leading 3-0 and be one away. Game shot on the third As it way. is, it's a 15 Sam darter and a 2-1 lead. Is this something out of the top draw when he needs it? The absolute most. No is the answer. 45. It's getting Mike tentative. It's getting 66. scrappy. And it could well be over. If Warburton can find this 66, it might be the route to glory for Wayne Jones. Ironically, on his favourite double 18. And now double nine. Game for shot. For Warburton and win. That sends Kankit crashing out. Because Wayne Jones... Is into tomorrow night's final, and Kankit knows that that is the end of his Super Series charge. Mike Warburton, a 4 2 winner with an 89, an 85 96 average, 4 out of 16 on the doubles. He beats San Kankit 4 2.
He does indeed, and that means that Wayne Jones goes through at the expense of Sam Kankit. Uh, Wayne Jones, it looked like it, it might have gone horribly wrong. We'll take a look at the results, and they were two shockers for him in the middle of the night, both 4-0. Yeah, but in fairness, he walked into that absolute monstrous 113 average, and then the match against Sam Kankit, where he got done 4-0 again, he was unplayable, wasn't he, for three of, well, pretty much all four of the legs. But yes, yeah, Sam will be kicking himself there because there was opportunities. And look at all that yellow on the right-hand side. Nine out of ten games won against a throw. What does that tell us? Yeah, it was it's just sometimes once it starts like that, you you tend to get a lot of them. But I don't think I've I don't think I've ever seen so many against the throw. But there was some fabulous performances against the throw tonight. Well, we mentioned Wayne Jones. Let's talk about the other two players that are going through. First of all, Mark Dubridge. You've been tipping him all week, and he he won his first match. Then needed one more to qualify, wait until his very last match to get there. Yeah, they are tough. I've been in that scenario where you need just what sort of one more match to confirm. And uh, yeah, it's the hardest one to win. But yeah, eventually got over the line. So pleasing for him. Uh, but he'll have to listen. We know he's got a top level game in the locker. We've seen signs of it uh, over the last couple of nights. But he'll have to find another gear tomorrow because Warby looks very, very good. Yeah, and he looked particularly good in that 4-0 victory against Wayne Jones earlier. One of the best performances we've seen for some time at the Super Series. In fact, the best performance we've seen in this entire series, although <laughs> it is only five days old. Yeah, he, he was stunning, wasn't he? I mean, when you see him in that kind of vein of form, it, it brings back memories of those performances we've seen in the early stages when this was called the, the Live League. Um, but he, he's playing himself into form and every day he's just seemed to have improved. Yeah, 113 average. If he gets better than that tomorrow, then uh, I think it'll be tough for anyone to stop him. And we'll take a look at the table. Confirmed the three players through to finals night from this group. Mike Warburton, the group winner. Mark Dubridge in second. Wayne Jones in the end, squeaking through in third. But yeah, I ironically, Dubby was trying to get that final win and... Actually, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, not all. David Davis and, and Sam Kankit. Uh, look, when Kankit beat Davis earlier in the evening, he gave himself a chance. He still had it in his hands going into the last two games, but big win for Wayne Jones. Just showed that, that bit of experience, didn't it? Yeah, ab yeah absolutely. And it, it's, it's one of those things, we've, we see it a lot in Group A, where if you make a bad start, it's so hard to, to chase the pack down. But, listen, every effort was given on this occasion. It, it just wasn't there, and he'll be back for another go, no doubt. Yeah, well, tomorrow night then, it is finals night, the first of the new series, and there's two groups to play round robin stages before we have the semis and finals, as always, on a Saturday. And we can take a first look at them here. Matt Clark, the Group A winner, joined by Jamie Kelling and Mark Dubridge. Tommy Morris and Mike Warburton and Wayne Jones together. Which group would you rather be in, Mace? Um... Ooh, I don't really know. I'd... Group three? Yeah, group, yeah <laughs> group three, my own little group on my own, I think. And listen, Tommy Morris is, is going to be buoyed with, with how well he played today. Um, Warby just looks a million dollars at the moment. Wayne Jones will almost feel like he's free rolling a little bit. Matt Clark would certainly have enjoyed a couple of days rest, and we know he has the experience and he's, he's proven on Saturday nights. Jamie Kellins just rock solid in the steady away. And if Mark's got his 180 hat on, he's going to be tough to beat. The bookies have been backing Mike Warburton. You've <coughs> been backing uh, Mark Dubridge. Matt Clark is there again, and we know his success rate on Saturday nights is incredible. But Tommy Morris really impressed this afternoon. So it's all to play for, isn't it? Yeah, and it, listen, in a little bit of a way, Matt Clark's gone under the radar because so much has happened since mm. Wednesday, of course. We've had so much drama. Um, yeah, it's tough to call. You can you can literally make a case for everybody, I think, in the group. But listen, somehow the book is, despite not having having any sort of knowledge of form coming into it, made Warby the favourite on Monday. And well, I think they may have it right. Yeah, we will see tomorrow. The action gets underway at 7:30 p.m. live, exclusively for the group games on the Modus Super Series YouTube channel. Then, as always, 10 p.m. the semi-finals start on Sporty Stuff TV before the final, and we will have, of course, our first player at Champions Week for Series Five. So we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.